What's going on everybody? Welcome to your 8th PHP tutorial in which we'll be discussing about something called conditional statements in PHP. Now conditional statements are not limited to PHP only. Conditional statements actually means um, statements which are used when you want to compare something. So if is a conditional statement which is present in PHP. So using if you could actually compare for equality or non-equality or for greater than or less than or whatever you like in PHP so let's say if I have a variable number one and this is hundred uh, let's say I have a variable number two this is hundred as well so if I say that if number one is equal to hundred now one thing you have to make sure is that you write double equal to while you are comparing something because double equal to would compare a thing whereas a single equal to would assign that thing so if you do like if number one equals to hundred then what would actually happen is that number one would get the value of hundred even if from let's say if this was 200 then number one would get the value of hundred and then obviously since hundred is not zero therefore this bracket would evaluate to true and this code block would run anyways so this literally means that you are not performing any check at all because this would always run so make sure to use double equal to sign whenever you are comparing two things so if number one is equal to hundred then I want to enter in this code block then if number two is also equal to hundred then echo wow both are hundred if this is not the case then echo wow only one is hundred now can you guess what would be the output when I refresh the browser well the output would be wow well that was embarrassing whoa okay so at the first place only it was not hundred so it never entered this block so let's reload this okay so now the original question did you guess that correctly that both of these lines would echo Ye well yep both of these would echo because number one is hundred okay we entered this block number two is hundred okay we entered this block PHP executed the statement sent this to browser came to next line came to next line executed this one sent to the browser as well as well so if you want that only this execute and not this what we can do is we can place the statement inside something called else now else means that if the statement is not true then do this or basically it actually makes sense that if this then do this else do this so we could actually have multiple comparisons in a statement so let's say if I have number one as 1023 and number two as 1024 so if I can I can say that if number one is greater than 100 and if number two is less than um, let's make this two six number two is less than number one then actually we could compare variables as well if you didn't know that so if number two is less than number one then wow just let's just echo wow because I don't have any message in mind right now so wow one else wow two so when I reload this we get only wow one because both of these are true because it never entered el the else clause because this condition evaluated to true then the PHP ran this command then it came here then it directly came here or right here at this point so that was about if and else 
and actually this is not just limited to numbers you could actually compare string as well so let's say hello mehul and hello mehul so i can make use of number one equal to number two then echo wow let's reload this and you see that it echoes wow but what if I don't want these two to be equal then I want this code block to run well we could actually do something like if number one is equal to number two then this thing else this but this kinda look awkward so we have one more operator which is if number one is not equal to number two pay attention the exclamation mark is before the equal to sign but here only one equal to is required well there is a case when you could actually use two but for now we only require one so if number one is not equal to number two then echo wow and this would not be echoed on the screen because for now it is equal to one another so you see the blank output so this was the first conditional statement the if else actually there should be if else so this is the first conditional statement which we have right here and uh, there's one more the switch one which we'll be, be doing in the next tutorial so that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching